Hello, you're watching episode 31 of the Daily Decrypt. I'm Amanda, and somebody got a new shirt for the upcoming Latin American Bitcoin conference. Neat. Today's episode is brought to you by Newbits. There's a handful of exchanges like CCEDK and Poloniex and Meta Exchange, for example, which are now proving their solvency on the BitShares blockchain. What does this mean? Well, it means that getting goxed is now a choice rather than an inherent risk of trading. With traditional online exchanges, you must give an exchange control of your private keys in order to have access to quickity quick trading, right? The exchanges I mentioned, plus a few more, have put their order books on the BitShares blockchain so that just by logging into your BitShares wallet, you can trade what all of these exchanges are offering, but you'd never have to give up your private keys to them. It's all done in your wallet while you hold your private keys. There's a new social tipping app called ShareBits that went into soft launch yesterday. And it works like change tip, right? Which lets you tip people over Twitter or Reddit. But this is made by the BitShares people. And so not only can you tip BitShares if you want to, but if you are a person, and any person can do this, if you are a person who has issued an asset token on the BitShares blockchain, say an asset token that represents a share in your 3D printing business or your consulting business or whatever it is that you would issue a share in, with the ShareBits app, you can tip people in shares of your asset. Of course, there's an argument to be made that any cryptocurrency, be it a, a Dogecoin, a Litecoin, a Monero token, it all represents a share in a way in the future profitability of that crypto. Yeah, I buy that. But the cool thing to me about user-issued assets is that you don't have to create a whole new cryptocurrency. You can just issue a token that represents the profitability of your particular business. The popular betting site Sportsbook is now accepting Bitcoin, which is, uh, which is an announcement that has gotten a good deal of fanfare. And as I was looking at the Sportsbook website, I saw that they have a section where people are wagering on the outcome of political elections. And that got me wondering, whoa, like what is Augur up to these days? Augur, in case you don't know, is a decentralized predictions market. I checked out Augur's site and it turns out they're offering an alpha if you'd like to see what it's all about. Augur hopes to be especially useful in what they call uh, getting the wisdom of the crowd, which is based on like this jelly meat bean experiment, for example. So like there's this big jar of jelly beans and people are supposed to guess how many are in it. And though the average margin of error is really wide, it turns out that the average of all of the guesses of the entire crowd actually ends up being reliable. And so if you'd like to start messing around with making predictions about the weather, business, prices, politics, you name it, the alpha is there. Bithala, Bithala. BitHala is a new Android app which seeks to make paying people or, or receiving payments yourself in Bitcoins, especially in social situations, easier. So when you send someone a Bitcoin payment, you have to have their address, right? Which is the big, long, ugly number, you know this. Uh, but it can get difficult in that a lot of people use a different address all the time. They never reuse the same address. And so anytime you want to pay someone, you often have to just be like, oh, bro, like, what's your address again? I know you always use new ones. And so BitHala is like, whoa, what if we create like social profiles, you know, where it's like your name and your picture and your friends are all connected to you, but the, the, your profile interfaces with your actual Bitcoin wallet on your phone so that when someone goes to pay you, BitHala then talks to your wallet and is like, hey, you want a new address? Give me a new address. And then it kicks out a new address so that your friends, you know, much less ha of having to ask you what your new address is, they no longer even have to scan your QR code or copy and paste anything. They just go to their BitHala thing, click on your face, and the payment process takes place that way. The crypto store, which is like a mini overstock, I would say is offering discount codes right now for people who just sign up for their newsletter. So if you're looking to buy household stuff, apparel, jewelry, sports equipment, all that sort of overstocky like stuff, 
you might want to check out the crypto store. And heyo to today's sponsor, Newbits, which is a cryptocurrency which has maintained a value of almost exactly one US dollar since it was launched back in 2014. The target audience for Newbits is for people who want the relative stability of widely used fiat currencies while keeping the benefits of cryptocurrency, which is like freedom uh, and censorship resistance. So if you would be interested to learn more, check out newbits.com. Follow The Daily Decrypt on Twitter, why don't you? Or if you prefer watching videos on Facebook as opposed to YouTube, as I know actually a lot of people do, we've got you covered.